All right, what's going on there, JPEN GT, DPEN GT? This is our 1977 Datsun 280Z, four speed, named Project Overspray. Now, Project Overspray is a JPEN GT project car, but she is currently for sale. Anyway, we're gonna keep working on this bad Oscar until she sells. Our main goal is to uh, get the motor running and uh, turn it over to a new owner. So we're gonna keep working on her until she sells. So anyway, she she is again, like I said, a 1977 Datsun 280Z four-speed car, L28 engine. We do have the title in our name and we do have the keys. So let's go ahead and take a look at this bad Oscar. See what she has to offer. All right, so she comes with some uh, American Racing. Uh, I forget the name of the, of the wheels, but they're mag wheels. 14 by 7s, I believe. Center caps are not included. We don't know what happened to them. But uh, she is a pretty nice car. She will need some, she will need a four pan and frame rail replacement. That's what we recommend with all our cars. This one definitely is going to need it. Uh, but she is pretty solid overall. As far as the rest of the body goes. And the interior is pretty clean. So, so let's go ahead and uh, get cracking. Again, like I said, the interior is pretty nice. Dash has some cracks in it, so it's an odd dash cover. Steering wheel is in good condition, the original shift knob. Seats have been custom done. I believe it's uh, probably leather. And a uh, yellow and black pattern. All the gauges are there. Nothing's missing interior wise. Doesn't have the original radio. So that will need to be replaced. Original shift knob right there. There's interior in the rear. Headliner's nice. You see all that right there. So we're just gonna do a little quick walk around. There's the trunk area. All right, and here's the hatch area. She will more than likely need this air replaced too. I'm not sure how deep that rust goes. But I would say the spare tile tub needs replacement also. So the reason why we call this project overspray is somewhere apparently went ham with the rattle can and just did the whole damn thing in yellow. Don't know why the rhyme or reason for it, but it's a nice solid car for someone looking to build a Z. We got this out of a see my truck salvage yard and somebody laid, I think it was a Kenworth grill over, over the top. <laughs> and you see all the stripes is all the dust and everything that came through the grill as a set, you know, for a couple years or whatever. So anyway, she uh, last ran I was told about, I don't know, four or five years ago from, from the previous owner. It's one of those cars we were looking to fix ourselves but she uh needs a little more work than what we're capable of doing right now 
I mean, we got people who can do it, but we just got still working on some of our current projects. So we'll let her go. For the right price to a new home. The hood will need to be replaced. I had to uh, break into it. The hood latch broke, which it will come with a new hood latch. The hood, the hood, the hood release cable broke off, and I had to go through the hood vents to uh, how to go through these in order to undo the latch there, so I can lift the hood up. So we'll get to that right now but again you know this hood was kind of too far gone for our taste anyway so we're just going to replace it with carbon fiber to begin with so uh, take this rubber molding out which i haven't glued down yet okay so there she is everything's there as far as what we can see uh needs a couple of vacuum lines connected which we're in the middle of doing right now so but I believe she is in that matching numbers block we haven't tried to fire her up yet so she should turn over once we put a battery in it or it will but again like I said you know she's just up for sale we'll continue walk, working on it in the meantime so she is a L28 full injected car four speed transmission and again like you see somebody went nuts with the spray can so it's why we call it over spray they were sprayed everything. Everything got oversprayed. Yep, so anyway, I got all that right there. All that stuff works. Surface rust act with some rust action going on. AC car. Get AC down there. We got new thaw boots we're gonna throw on. And something else that I hate it. This battery must have been leaking or something. Somebody had a battery that must have leaked. So the battery tree area will need to be replaced also. So see, it's a project car, so make no mistakes about that. Uh, I throw this battery back in here. <sighs> Damn, that's heavy. <laughs> that is heavy. So I'll do the old fender wheel deal. This right here is the driver's front side. Driver's rear. <sighs> Passenger rear. Rear coral panel area is pretty good on both sides. And the Yeah, see that's need to be fixed or replaced. There are floor pan and floor frame row kits. Yep, there goes the battery tray rush right there. That's gotta come out. There is kits that companies sell to place on these Z cars. They're fairly, well, not too expensive. Just gotta find a shop that knows how to weld. Actually knows what they're doing. I would recommend Fitted Garage in Sacramento, California. 
the prices are reasonable and they can actually source all the parts needed in order to get it right. That's where Project Transtap actually is going to be heading. Again with the battery, I mean the uh, engine area with the radiator. Playing clutch is solid. Yeah, so anyway, so we're going to be working on this car. As time goes on, like I said, we're going to replace the, we were going to replace the hood anyway. So we just hacked into it so we can get into the car when the hood latch cable broke. But again, we got a, we got a replacement for that we're going to put in. We're also going to include a, a six and a two header for this car also. Okay, so now let's look at the underbody really fast before we get out of here. That's the frame rail on the passenger side. And now we'll get to the driver's side. <clears throat> Walk away from the back. front all right and that right there is pretty much the just of the car as you guys can see again like I said she's a 77 280z I forget what exactly the build date number is and what the build month is but she's HLS 30 376 651 you can look up on the charts what the build date is I believe it's uh I believe it might be May March April May I'm sorry it might be March but anyway we already have to then verify the year and all that stuff so she is a 1977 280z I believe she's a well, yes, no, I'll take that back. It's probably a March build date. Because Ruby is a October 76 build date. She's a 77280Z. And her VIN number is 360-104. And this one's a little higher, so. But anyway, there she is. She's a bright yellow, <laughs> bright yellow baby. All right, so anyway, we do have uh, the title and everything, and we do assist with shipping cars overseas for our international buyers out there. So we'll be working on her until somebody buys her. So if you want to reach us about this car, shoot us an email at uh, JP, JPANGT01. That's JPANGT, the number zero and the number one at gmail.com shoot us uh an email if you want to know more and uh we'll go from there so until uh until then you guys take care stay blessed i'm out of here citizen z signing out later